All right, we're going to try this again. This is an earthquake alert app. This is apps for emergencies. And um, here we go. This is what it looks like. This is the big green one on the left up there with the heartbeat or the shockwave alert. There's a little bit about the app. The earthquake data is from the USGS, which is United States Geological Service. Here's what it looks like when you download it. It'll appear with a little uh, desktop icon. And uh, here's how I'm flying it on my Alcatel One Touch Fierce. It's up there on the left. It's the green one with the shockwave again. You push the app, it opens up, it goes right to the latest. If you have your defaults or standard, this is the latest, latest earthquake. This is as of today. And then you come up, you have Map It, Details, Share, USGS, which is the actual United States Geological Service website. You can share it on Facebook. It's got details and map, of course. And fill it. You get to leave a comment. So if you push the details, you're going to get this, which is USGS in a nutshell, basically. And we'll go back to the latest. Here's the uh, earthquake again. We're going to go to map so we can see where it was at. You get normal, satellite, and terrain. So here's the green circles. Those are earthquakes. Um, the blue dot is where I'm at. That was the normal map. This is the satellite map. I call this one the terrain map, actually, because, well, it's terrain. You can see all the uh, geological structures and stuff. And this is actually supposedly the terrain map, but it looks more like a, well, a highway map to me. And once again, the green circles are earthquakes as of this week. So here we go. Now we're going to go to the news. See, here's the latest news. And, of course, they're talking about the three Irving earthquakes in 24 hours. National Weather Service confirms earthquake. And then you push that. And it'll take you to some news clips. This is CBS DFW, which is Dallas-Fort Worth. I believe this is Channel 4. And they have a little article about it. And then here's the second article. It just gives you the top news stories from news services. National Weather Service confirms. So we'll go back to the latest. We have Map It Detail Share, which is Facebook, Twitter, things like that. We're going to push USGS because, you know, we're concerned with, you know, the people that are in charge of all this lovely information. So this is their site when it comes through the app. They'll also give you a map, and here's what their map looks like. And this is in Irving. My sister lives about a mile, mile and a half from there. That's why I care about this. And uh, that stars where the earthquake occurred. Okay, so here's what the app looks like on the Google Play Store, you know, where you download your apps. This is what it looks like. It's the top left one. There's some other ones on there. I haven't used those. I have used the USGS one. And because that earthquake alert one that we're using uh, actually goes to USGS, I use that one. So let's talk about the maps a little bit. We have normal satellite and terrain. Okay, we also have other kinds of settings. So we have settings, map type, toggle clustering, and fault lines and I don't really use these too much clustering just lets you know how many was in the area so that's like you know in Oklahoma that would be really good for using for clustering if there's more than one earthquake so let's get on with the next part here we have the map this is a pretty good geological map we're going to go to the filter, which is up at the top right screen next to the refresh. So we're going to filter quakes by just random here. So we go to location, and we have our choices of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and worldwide. Okay, then we have the date. That's underneath of it. So it'll pretty much give you this week. Then we're going to go to the, uh, and we have the magnitude. I believe it goes all the way to uh, 7.5. So anything greater than that, you'll know. You'll probably feel it all the way around the world if it was greater than that. So once again, here's what it looks like on my desktop. Here's what I usually fly. Here's what it looks like latest when you open up the app. This is what how I fly my map. This is how I have my settings. The green circles are earthquakes of this week. And we have the news. So this is how the app works, how I got it set up on my phone. Um, so we're going to go to filter once again and GPS does work I believe. So here's the overview of the filter. Um, so let's go 
back to uh, what it looks like on your desktop. Now we're going to go and do the default settings. So you're going to push Earthquake Alert up there on the top left corner. And then you're going to get this little window. It's got about frequently asked questions. And you're going to scroll down. And you'll see check for updates. And see down there it says settings. So we're going to push the actual uh, the default settings. So we don't have to do you know filter all the time. And then you just go through that and you set your preferences. But uh, yeah, here's pretty much what it looks like. Here's a little bit about Earthquake Alert some more. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all guys got something out of that. And uh, well, don't get all shook up, okay? So this is Glenn Monroe. I'll see y'all later.